In this video, we'll review building wealth and developing your career plan and setting monthly savings goals. Before you can build wealth, you need to know what it means. Wealth, otherwise known as net worth, is simply the sum of your assets, like your house, car, furniture, cash, and stocks, less all of your debts like loans and credit cards. To build wealth, you must save a portion of your income and invest it so that it can grow over time. Start by looking at your career options. Make a career plan by defining your ideal job and salary. Your saving and spending will always depend on how much money you make each month. Interviewers often ask, where do you see yourself in five years? You should always have an answer to this question because it helps build a clear roadmap. Part of your career plan includes the education and experience requirements you need to obtain your career goals. Start by looking at job postings you want in the future. They have all the information you need to make an effective career plan. Once you have an idea of how much money you can make as your career evolves, you will also have a better idea of how much debt you can afford. The first kind of debt you'll likely take on are the student loans you'll need to fulfill the education requirements for your career plan. You can estimate how much your first jobs will pay after school by looking at job offers for entry-level positions in your chosen field. That way you can plan for how long it will take to pay off your student loans. Most adults with healthy finances use four accounts, a checking account, a regular savings account, an emergency savings account, and an investing account. Five years have passed since Eric made his career plan. He has completed his associate degree and has three years work experience. He's also built up his emergency savings. So his financial advisor says, now it's time to start investing to get a higher return than what a savings account earns at the bank. Savings accounts generally earn about 2% per year in interest. Eric has been saving $400 per month and now has almost $15,000 in his regular savings and emergency fund accounts. His financial advisor recommends that he continues to save 10% of his take-home pay, but now he should start putting it into his investing account instead of his savings account. If you can save more than 10%, then do so, but saving less than 10% will make it more difficult to reach your long-term financial goals. Working with a financial advisor in the beginning can help you understand your risk tolerance, your planning horizon, and what asset mix is best for you. There are always risks when you invest your money in either the stock market, bonds, gold, real estate, or other assets. Understanding the risks and how much time you have to grow your wealth will help you decide how to build your investment portfolio and prepare for your retirement. If you continue to save 10% of your take-home pay year after year and invest it properly, your personal wealth will accelerate so much faster than keeping your money in your savings account. This is due to the power of compound interest. That means you won't be able to buy everything you want right away, but with a successful career and investing plan, you can achieve both your career and financial goals. A wise man once said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it earns it. He who doesn't pays it. <laughs>